let A and B be sets. Prove that the power set of A union with the power set of B is a subset of the power set of A union B. So the power set of A is the set of all subsets of A. Let's go ahead and go through this proof. So proof. So to show that one set is a subset of another, we have to show that every element in one set is also in the other set. So we start by taking an element in this set, and then we just have to show that it belongs in this set. So keep in mind that the elements in these sets are actually sets. The power set of A is the set of all subsets of A. Likewise, the power set of B is the set of all subsets of B. So we'll start by taking a set in this union. So take any. Let's call it X in the power set of A union power set of B. The next thing to do is to write down what this actually means. So if X is in the union, so this means that X is in the power set of A or X is in the power set of B using simply the definition of union. So in this case here, it means that X is a subset of A or X is a subset of B. And our goal is to show that X is in the power set of A union B. So note, if X is a subset of A, well, that's a subset of A union B. So this means that X is in the power set of A union B. Really, really clever. So if X is a subset of A, well, A is a subset of A union B. That means that X is a subset of A union B. That means X is in the power set of A union B. If X is a subset of B, which is also a subset of A union B, then X is a subset of A union B. So that means that X is in the power set of A union B. In any case, in any case, X is in the power set of A union B. So we started with an element, in this case, uh, a set <laughs> in this other set, and we showed that it belongs to this set here. And since we did this for any element, um, it must be true for every element. And so thus, we have shown that the power set of A in union with the power set of B is a subset of the power set of A union B. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.